It feels great to be back in that kind of problem solver mindset at work. It's just relaxing to be able to just sit and be paid to think. I had kind of a circuitous career journey. Started out as an English teacher, and then I got into Mandarin Chinese translation and interpretation. Although I enjoyed it, it didn't pay great, and there wasn't really room to move up. I was also just curious to do、um, something math-related. I had initially majored in math when I was in college. I literally just googled jobs I could do with math. And then I found a big data, which led me to machine learning and data science. I think that's when I heard about Springboard. So my current role, my title is analyst in the ML ops department, so machine learning operations. So our company is a marketing company. And one of the services we offer is our measurement product that can measure the impact of marketing, so that the customer can make better decisions about how they want to spend their money. My role will be helping to implement the model that's been built, and kind of get new customers up and running with our measurement product. My math definitely helped in learning the content. On Springboard, and although I don't think it's required that you know math to do something like Springboard or learn data science, it is a foundational piece, and knowing it will make it easier to learn other pieces that are built on top of the math. I didn't look at too many different options. I just remembered the name, and so. I just went online and looked at the requirements and what Springboard offered. One of the other routes would be to learn the material on my own, but I think the problem with that is not knowing when enough is enough. I like the fact that it was there was a job guarantee and that kind of a job coach would work with me to find a job. And then having the mentor too was really helpful to guide me in the right direction. So the mentorship was also really helpful. The more interesting project I did had two parts to it. The first part of it was language detection, being fed one of 22 different languages, predicting what language it was reading. That was fairly simple. And so the second part of that project was to predict whether a sentence was the first in its paragraph or not. And it got like. 60% accuracy.、So、I don't know how great it was, but I was glad that it at least worked, and it was better than 50%. So, the job coach、um, was a huge help. After talking with my mentor, she kind of reassured me that I'm doing the right thing. Just keep applying. It's okay to not have heard back yet. If it were just me on my own, after applying to 100 jobs and not Hearing back from any of them, I would think that's a bad sign. But it takes like 200, 300, 400 applications before calls for interviews. I thought Springboard did a great job in preparing people for job interviews. I was sent a take-home challenge, like exactly the same format as what Springboard、um, teaches their students. With my job, I had I think five different interviews. So three of these five interviews were all on the same day, just back to back to back. It was like half behavioral, half technical. Maybe I did discuss my capstone project, but then during the interview, I had to walk through what I had done with two technical staff members and explain my thought process. Like one of them, she asked me. Some follow-up questions about that project, and then、um, the last interview was with the CEO. Yeah, besides the data science、um, challenge and the one technical interview, there wasn't a whole lot of like. Like I was worried I would hear like complicated questions that I wouldn't know the answer. Like none of that happened. 
springboard they prepare you for those kinds of questions. And I, I remember I had written out like 50 questions and like answers to like 50 different questions, some behavioral, some technical. So just like practicing that I think is really helpful. That's one piece of advice I would say is like figure out the really common questions and like get really good at replying to those.